Buenos nachos and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode we're going to try to help out a customer by recapping this drive in the hopes that we can resurrect it. So at the moment it does try and detect discs, the laser will move back and forth, but then after that nothing happens. So let's go ahead and show you what we mean. I just so happen to have already conveniently taken the screws off of this drive, and in case you were wondering we are working on a Samsung SDG-605F revision disk drive. Now you may be wondering to yourself, how am I going to test a disk without this cog? Well, I'll show you. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plug the IDE cable in, PETA, PETA, papaya, get that hooked up. As for the secret, I've disassembled many of these drives. Some of them still have some good parts like this right here, so you can always salvage one out of another drive. And of course, we're gonna be trying out this guy right here. Of course, there were over a trillion of these units produced, even though it claims it's a limited collector's edition. So we're just gonna put that right in here, and we're gonna do our best to scratch the heck out of it. So if you take a look here, it looks like the disc wants to read, right? Like the laser's right there, it's detecting it, and then it goes back. It's still trying, spinning up really fast. This is gonna be one of those times where the game actually works, but I don't think so. It looks like it's stopping. So I did not experience this issue before. The console is throwing error 10. So this is definitely the first time I've seen error 10. If you've never encountered this error before, or if you have, the internet recommends that you check your cables. I've put another drive into this console that I know that works. It may work a little slowly, but it works. So I think it's safe to say that it's this drive that has some kind of a problem, but we will humor you and we'll go ahead and reseat our cables. All right, the cables have been reseated, so let's see what happens. So once again, it's still trying. Looks like it's gonna load. Having some difficulties though. And now we have error 12. The fact that we're getting two different errors could mean anything. However, I do think that this warrants further investigation. For those of you that had seen my previous episode on fixing these Samsung disk drives, I had fixed similar issues by replacing the resistor arrays because they had gone out of spec. So this is actually a surprising turn for this disk drive because I originally thought we were just gonna do a recapping and I thought that would take care of all the ales. I am hoping it is not the resistor arrays because I do not have resistors. For those of you seeing this at home, we now have our Craftsman multimeter on screen from a now defunct company called Sears, which used to be quite exciting to go to, though not as exciting as Radio Shack. Definitely not as exciting as Radio Shack. Jumping ahead of myself, we have to take this apart now, if I remember correctly, these are supposed to be 33 ohms, and this last one over here is supposed to be 82. Let's go ahead and double check real quick. Maybe I am misremembering. Yep, 33. Correct. So this one is in spec. It just didn't seem like it was. I'm going to continue to keep checking these until I find one that has failed, or, well, until we reach the end. So what do you know? Looks like we found one that has failed. And this one's actually open, according to my multimeter. I mean, I'm applying a tremendous amount of pressure on it, as you can see, and it still shows as open on our multimeter. So this guy has probably failed, and that means we're gonna have to replace this entire resistor array. This is quite the surprise. Let's go ahead and check the rest of these for surety, or thoroughness, if you prefer the use of that word over the other. Unless I find another one that's bad. All right, and now we are checking the 82 ohmage resistees. Should start calling them resisticles. We've checked all the resistor arrays that usually fail on these Samsung drives, and well, we did turn up one resistor array that has indeed failed. I'm unfortunately gonna have to put a pause on this as I do not have what I need here at the moment. We'll go ahead and mark down the failed resistor array with our Sharpie. 
and we'll be back with those much needed supplies. All right, I've returned with our resistor arrays. In case you're needing to purchase these in the future, there's a part number from Digital Key, aka DigiKey. Since my last repair video on the Samsung drives, I've learned quite a bit about resistors. Not only will the one that has failed will fail, but other ones of similar type will also fail. So it's best to just replace them all instead of only replacing the failed one. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. That was the improper way to remove that connector. So I've personally never seen the 82 ohm resistor arrays fail, but if I ever start seeing them fail, I will definitely start replacing them all. For now, we're only going to replace the 33 ohm resistor arrays. We're gonna be using our hot air wand, and then we're gonna remove all of the resistor arrays that could potentially fail. I don't think we need 450, so we're gonna lower, lower it down. So I have a feeling these boards wanna pop on you, so we'll probably use 330C. And I'd like to believe this board is leaded. So there's one, the RB2, three, Quatris, Quatris. We're gonna pretend these solder points. Probably would be time for some Flemex, huh? I really didn't want to use it because it just spews out so much every time I do. So you always try and put a little, but it's never a little that comes out. But nothing is... Did I just remove a resistor? I did. Now let's get that guy back on there, shall we? Steal some some flux from over here to help that. There goes the minute of my life. So there's our four. I'm gonna attempt to place these best I can for now. There we go. This is gonna be interesting, so we'll see how it goes, because I have a feeling stuff is gonna move on me. So that one went into place. I just don't wanna sit on here too long because I know it's gonna try and explode. Some little sort of offset. I think we'll touch those up with the soldering iron. In case you're wondering, we're using the Hako FX-951 with the T12 D24 soldering iron tip. And I'm using 350C at the moment. I'm amazed at the heat transfer on these things. Come on. Ingest some solder. There you go. I think we're all good. We've now replaced all of the 33 ohm resistor arrays, so it's now time to clean up our mess. These are fancy Chemtech wipe tissue, which claims to leave no fibers behind, but we all know that's not true. So I think what I'll do is I'll brush this down a little bit before I do that. That's, that's what I should always be doing. Kind of deep dive brush here. I highly doubt I'm gonna get it all, but we're gonna get quite a bit. So the next thing we'll use is some acetone. Put a little bit of that down. I have to be careful not to get it on the gloves because it'll eat the gloves. Now this will clean off your flux. I really want to make sure we have no bridges whatsoever.
Yeah, those joints look immaculate. The only one that I have a question about is the one right at the very edge, right there, bottom right. So we'll touch up that one with just a little bit of solder. Now I'd say we're safe to call it good. We'll go ahead and test this board out in the drive. This console's asking us for the time, but that's normal because we don't have a clock capacitor installed. Ooh, Microsoft. Well, 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 looks like it was the resistor array after all. Absolutely amazing. Well, as you can tell, Doom is running on this console. So the disk drive repair was a success and it ended up being the resistor arrays this entire time. I had given the customer a 50-50% chance on whether it would work or not work. Luck was with the customer and as you can see, it works. It definitely lucked out with the resistor arrays being the failure and not capacitors. I have a little bit more work to do, a bit more preventative maintenance on this drive. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this video here. If you found this video helpful or useful, please remember to leave us a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Until next time.